tips. Now, these tips are going to be that how to create an abstract, drafting a creative and purposeful title for your write-up, and how to have perfectly formative list of references. Okay? So, how to make sure that you are formatting the list of references the best way possible. Let me just show you first example of references, then I'll come to this. Because I was also seeing it, how people actually do it. So, um, this is the list of references. Now you see the gap between the paragraphs. Okay. And uh, the because see, when it was writing this, this was like this. And when it comes to the references, it has more gap. Half an inch gap it is generally. Secondly, how do we write the names of the people from where we are taking the things? So it should be last name first and middle and first name should be in initials. For example, Golder B N, Jakaria M, Mishra S. If there is no middle name, you can just write the first name initial. You do not write full names. You getting the main reason of citing references. You know the reasons so that you can showcase that what you have researched, how much you have researched, and you did not go anything beyond that people do not agree or. Uh, how you achieve some of the goals or you are not plagiarizing anything. So avoid intellectual dishonesty, presenting ideas of other scholars without proper recognition goes against scientific ethics. While this is not the highest of ethical requirement, it is simply basic decency. And this is because we humans have a strong sense of ownership, not just of our physical properties, but also of our intellectual works and achievement. Now, let's suppose I wrote a poem and you also print that poem in a magazine, but you did not give me the name. How would I feel? If you have made an assignment, it went on the, like you have made a chart paper, let's say, very beautiful one, and it went to the college wall, the main wall of the college, and your name is not there, Tarani, how would you feel? So that feeling should come with the people who are writing. That is why we should not do this. To avoid plagiarism, respect for intellectual property rights, same thing. To provide evidence, to give details on source document. I don't have to read this, I believe. Refer reference list should appear in the end of the paper. It provides information necessary to a reader to locate the retrieve any source you cite in body or of the paper. Each source you cite in the paper must appear in the reference list. Likewise, each entry in the reference list must be cited in your text. You have given somebody's name, but you have not used his writing. That is also not right. Your references should begin with on a new page separate from text of the essay. So on a new page, you should write references. All lines after the first line of each entry in your reference should have indented one half inch from the length margin. This is called hanging indention, indentation. I showed you the gaps, those gaps. All authors name should be inverted, means last name should be provided first. Author's first and middle name should be written as initials. For example, if the name is Jane Murray Smith, would begin with Smith J.M. If the middle name isn't available, just initialize the author's first name, Smith J. Got it? Qualifies titles for longer works. Example, books, edited collection, names of newspaper, and so on. If you have so many names, and they are names, italicized. Not the author's name, but the uh, book's names. Okay, do not italicize, underline, or put quotes around the titles of shorter works, such as chapters in book or essay and edited collection. So if you have given only one line from somebody, you cannot italicize anything. Give the last name, first name, and middle initials of the author of a particular work up to and including 20 authors. So it is more like if you're writing a list of the writers, okay? And uh, there are 20 writers. So you can also use, you know, those three dots that come together. You can do that also. You don't have to write every name. Okay, use an ampersand, this and before the last author's name. If there are 21 or more authors, use an ellipsis, but no ampersand. If there are limited names, use M percent. If there are many names, use three dots. And if you see this person, which I was showing example of, 
he uh, did not use any ampersand or anything. He just gave the names. You see, there is no ampersand. Yes, ma'am. It's just names. Okay? Okay. Reference list entry should be alphabetic by last names of the first author of each work. Sometimes, you know, uh, references are written from A to Z as well. For multiple articles by same authors or authors listed in the same order, list the entries in chronological order from earliest to the most recent. So there is one author wrote seven things that you have read. You can just uh, write them in the chronology. The person's name is, let's say, starting from A. It will be on A, but it will have seven different words. So you can make pointers. Like you can use decimals in that case. When referring to the titles of books, chapter, articles, report, web pages, or other sources, capitalize only the first letter of the first word of the title and subtitle. The first word after a colon or a dash in the title and proper nouns. I guess this I should show you. Like see, only this letter is capital. This letter is capital. And again, this is I guess name of the thing. So you have to see the capitalization also. 